So let's get into some vocabulary. The common name for that U-shaped graph of a quadratic function is called a parabola. The vertex is the maximum or minimum point of a parabola. And the axis of symmetry is a vertical line that divides the parabola into two symmetrical halves. So here we have three um, quadratic functions graphed. We want to find the coordinates of the vertex, determine if the vertex is a maximum or a minimum, and write the equation for the axis of symmetry. So the first thing I see is the line of symmetry that cuts through this parabola in half, and the equation of this vertical line is x equals negative 3. It is going right through our vertex, which is the point negative 3, 1. And I can see that that vertex is the highest y value. All y values go down from here. So that's a maximum vertex, not a minimum. So if I look at the second equation here, or graph, here is my axis of symmetry cutting down the center. The equation of that axis of symmetry is x equals 1. It goes right through this vertex point, which is 1, negative 4. And I see that this is a minimum or lowest value because all of my y values go up from there. And last but not least here, I see my axis of symmetry here down the center is the vertical line x equals 0. It goes through my vertex 0, negative 2. And once again, this is a minimum y value because all of my y values go up from there. So there's a nice summary here of this concept. Um, if we have the equation of our parabola, this relationship is always true. Its axis of symmetry is always x equals negative b over 2a, axis of symmetry. And that is also the x-coordinate of the vertex. Also, a quick way to determine whether or not your vertex is a maximum or a minimum if your a value is greater than zero, that means that your parabola opens up, so your vertex will be a min. And if your a value is less than zero, that means your parabola opens down, and so your vertex is a maximum. So in our next examples, we will de invest investigate these more algebraically.